Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to Mossy's Mini Allotment, the 1st of 16. First nice weekend we've got I think. So quick video today, I'm not going to look at the plot because there's not much happening. Um, just want to give an update on how I germinate my sweet corn and a, a little experiment as well just to show the difference it makes. So as you can see in front of you, you've got two sets of seeds planted. In the back one, you've got some nice seedlings coming along, corn uh, plants. And they were planted on the 5th of May. And in front of that then you've got the same seed in the same mix grown um, or sown on the 5th of May as well but just in this case they were held in a plastic tunnel. So let's have a little closer look and see what the difference is. So as you can see from the label, sown 5th of May, F1 Sundance is the, is the sweet corn. Let's look at the back first. This is a garland heated seed tray. So put three seeds in each one. Pretty much 100% germination apart from one in that tray there. As you can see, they're looking good. I know people say you shouldn't split sweet corn, but I haven't had any trouble before, so I let them grow into it a bit further on. Split them up and then put them into small pots, individual pots. Normally, what they look like when you see it, you sow them, it's just a little lid goes on like that. And I usually just keep them in the shed and then take the lids off and they, they reach the height. Here, as I say, same seed mix growing up in those little tents that you normally see on my videos and to date all we really have is to start so you got a single seed in each pot and they're just starting to pop their head through seed mix is just normal compost and a bit of vermiculite so I think you'll agree big difference in results and definitely the way to go you want to germinate your sweet corn quickly. We'll keep an eye on them. Come back with a couple of videos as they grow on. Thanks for watching. Slot.